minutes to sunrise, but baby, now what are we gonna do? I don't know, no, no. Pressure as mountain, oh baby, now how we gonna get through? I don't know. Can't go left, uh-uh. can't go right, uh-uh. don't know how we made it through come the on, night. Come on. What's up, YouTube? Dubstep Slap 415, back again with another Sneakerhead Saturday. But before I get into the pickups, I want to give a shout out to Clip9040. Hopefully you guys noticed my background on my channel changed a few weeks back. Clip9040 went ahead and made my background for me, so thank you for that. First thing up today is another rug from Diamond Supply Company. As you guys can see, we've got the Diamond Supply Company logo, their diamond, in their diamond Tiffany blue. The rest of the rug is black. I laid it over a size extra large t-shirt so you guys can get kind of an idea of how big it is. They do have this as well as a red and white one available on their website. Right here we got the diamond trolley tee. Diamond San Francisco. All orange tee. Thought this would be a dope tee to rock with the Black History Month shoes. Got the San Francisco cable car. I'm assuming that's full of uh, diamond supply skaters. You see the guy holding the skate deck off. Very clean tee. Head over to Diamond Supply if you want to pick it up. So I got hit up <clears throat> on Facebook by the guys at Visionary Clothing. They wanted to send me out a few tees and I gotta say they had some pretty unique designs. We got Visionary Clothing, which is full of a Galaxy print. Nothing too uh, specific, so you could probably rock this with any of the Galaxy shoes. Next up is their LeBron 9 Elite Miami Vice tee. You see Visionary. I actually have it printed in white, pink, and teal giving it that 3d look so you guys know their tees are printed on Hanes quality t-shirts plus they're really comfortable two more pickups before we get into the pairs first up we got the Gunners snapback from laidback365 Gunners International on Instagram you guys see number one of 12 so this was limited to 12 pieces Got the patch on the side, two red lines, and the three red stars. I want to correct, this is the DC flag. It's not just a patch with two lines and three stars. It is the Washington DC flag. So, uh, slight correction on that. GNRS for Gunners. Very clean snapback. Perfect for the bread 11s. Got your mostly black snap with your little hits of red and white. Got to give a big thanks to Gunners International for that. Next up, we got the L Cap Quick Dry Cement Hoodie. This is a limited edition custom hoodie that he put together. Got the red laces in the hood. He also customized this front pocket to feature the elephant print. This is currently sold out on his website, but you could contact him through the site or his Twitter to see if he's going to be restocking. The first two pairs up today, two pairs of Reeboks. Kamikaze 2 mid, black, flash, red, and white. I told you guys I was going to pick these up last video and actually had the opportunity this week Got the red and black Sean Kemp Kamikaze 2s. Was very pleased with the Sonics colorway. So was definitely going to pick up this red and black colorway. Those who have followed my channel for a while know I'm a big fan of red and black shoes. Getting to this second pair. Kamikaze 2 mid, black and white. <clears throat> These were the two colorways I had talked about picking up. Still on the fence about the Houston colorway. 
kind of want to see those in person. So uh, those are a possibility. Very clean black and white shoe. It's a black and white Reebok sole. Reebok on the tongue in white. So these are definitely going to turn into uh, some daily wears. Really digging the look of the Kamikaze 2s, especially in hand. I recommend picking them up if you're able to. Continuing on with today's shoes, we got a Nike orange box. KD5, Birch, Photo Blue, Sale, and Team Orange. <clears throat> I believe these officially released, uh, was it this morning? Got the KD5 Beach colorway. Got your solid birch outsole. Looked kind of like a gum outsole online, but uh, now I understand the beach theme. Got your like matte silver on your upper. Photo blue swoosh along with your photo blue laces. Inner lining, it's team orange. Little blue KD logo on the tongue. So pretty simple colorway, but uh, very clean nonetheless. The KD5 Beach. Also heard these called the Birch. All right, so we got a small Jordan box right here. No label. <clears throat> I actually got these a couple years ago. Got rid of them in a trade. Definitely wanted to get them back. So we got 2008 black cement three samples difference between these and the countdown pack you see the heavily padded inner lining going down got your red insole with the black jump man rather than the uh, CDP patch not sure if I'm gonna give you got be able to give you guys a shot but hopefully you can see it says promo Y3 but I also will flash a picture right now. Yes, who's back, back, back again. Definitely wanted to get these in hand again. Black Cement 3 is one of my favorite shoes of all time. So to have a promo sample, I know they made a lot. But to me, to have the promo sample is just a little bonus. Next two pairs on the right. We got a Jordan that released today. On the left, we got a Kobe that released a few days ago. Air Jordan 13 Retro, Squadron Blue, Electric Yellow, and Black. Was a little uh, hesitant on these, but uh, my buddy let me check them out at his shop early. And I uh, was definitely pleased with them. Got your all Squadron Blue upper. Kind of like a navy blue. Your Electric Yellow Jumpman. Your inner lining, squadron blue, but the back of your tongue is electric yellow. Got all three colors on the outsole. Also got some white. Your Jumpman hologram. Also got the hologram on the heel. Still got the little plastic on it. But uh, very pleased with these. I believe they sold out on Nike.com. But I'm sure there will be quite a few showing up on eBay soon. The Kobe 8 System. Kobe 8 System CG. What is that? Uh, Squadron Green. Challenge Red. LGN Brown. You guys know the official colors. Let me know. You got the Kobe 7. Excuse me, the Kobe 8 Python. Very clean colorway. Really digging this color. You know, this is a similar olive color to the Jordan 9s. And I gotta say, I much prefer it on the Kobe 8 over the Jordan 9. You guys can see metallic red swoosh. Your two tabs on the back making the Kobe logo are metallic red as well your plastic heel cup red Kobe signature red speckles on your black midsole 
This is kind of like a sail color, kind of like a tan, but uh, with a little bit of white. It's your red Kobe logo. And then uh, got your carbon fiber, but I believe it's uh, some type of glass. Shout outs to Yo Ante for knowing that information. On the tongue, red Kobe logo with the camo snake going around. Your inner lining is like a dark green. Then you got your red insole with the Kobe logo. Just want to correct that. The insole is more of like that uh, that LGN brown rather than dark green. But a very clean colorway. Got some older SBs today on the right. Got a black and purple box. Air Classic SB, dark mocha metallic gold. So right here we got an artist and Nike SB collaboration. They collaborated with San Francisco artist Jeremy Fish. And came out with a ridiculous collaboration. You guys can see the crazy laser engraved upper. Amazing detail on these. You see the gum midsole outsole. Loving the gum outsole. See Nike on the bottom. Got your extra metallic gold flat laces. Still in the bag, still attached. You guys see the first hit of Jeremy Fish artwork. On your tongue. Nike SB. Fish Classic SB. And you see like a uh, pebbling like uh, leather on the tongue. <clears throat> but just can't get over how much detail they put into this. Onto the back, you see the outside hit of the Jeremy Fish artwork. Got the little skull coming through his little pig character. So very grateful I was able to scoop these up off Craigslist, especially for the price I did. Got a silver box. Nike Dunk Low Pro SB, Jersey Gold and Bonsai. The older SB heads probably already know what these are. Got the Nike SB Hemp Bonsais. Got your extra laces, your extra gold laces right here. Here we go. I believe these were limited to 420 pairs. <clears throat> you see your hemp material on your upper. Your bonsai green suede swoosh. Moving to the back, you got Nike in that like hemp burlap color. It's your old Nike Zoom Air insole, Nike on the tongue. These have been laced up, but they've never been worn. Your crispy DS outsole in your bonsai green. One of my favorite parts is the gum midsole. They had a few other hemp releases. There was like a mahogany burgundy color and then also a blue, but the bonsai are the ones I wanted most. The other two might come along, but no rush as of now. Getting into the last four pairs. On the right, got a brown Nike box. These officially released today. They are a double up for me. Air Foam Posit 1 Premium, black, hyper red, dark gray, and white. I was wrong on the 220 retail, it's a 235 retail. <clears throat> but here we go with the Foam Posit 1 white camo or fighter jet. Just want to make a correction. Last time I called this the hang tag. It is supposed to be made after a military dog tag, so just want to make that correction. See it says Anthony Hardaway number one. 718-1971, Memphis, Tennessee, Nike Foam Posit 1. So, there's going to be a lot of reviews on these. Don't need to go too in-depth, <clears throat> but you guys know. 
Danger on the outside. No step on the inside. It's your clear icy sole with your red in the center. Black penny logo with your black and red carbon fiber. So not going to go crazy in depth. I'd rather talk about the other shoes. So we got the Foam Posit 1 white camo fighter jets. Very pleased with these. Hopefully they release the uh, green camo they showed pictures of a few months back. Alright, we got another Nike Silver Box. Those who have been watching my channel a lot, when I get one of my SB Grails, what tends to happen? I find a dead stock pair a few weeks after I get a used pair in. If anyone can guess this pair, you know your stuff. Nike Dunk High Pro SB, black, black, size 13. <clears throat> Bam. We got a crispy, crispy dead stock pair of Unlucky 13s. You guys know I got my worn pair of Unlucky 13s a few weeks back. And I had the opportunity to get a dead stock pair. And I was not going to pass. See Nike in red on your black tongue tab. Your contrast stitching is that yellow gold color. Really accents the shoe. As well as your midsole stitching. You got the 13 in red. You guys can see the high quality leather they used for this shoe. Also that black buttery suede on the toe, mid panel, and top of the heel. Your solid red outsole. It's a classic SB. Now I got a DS Lucky 7 and a DS Unlucky 13. Two LeBrons to finish off the video. We're going to end with a bang. I'm going to show you guys both of the labels and then I'm going to open up the boxes. On the right, the all black LeBron box. LeBron 10, Atomic Teal, Slate, Dark Atomic Teal, and Total Orange. On the left, I'll show you guys Area 72, Highly Classified Technology, Top Secret Nike. LeBron 10, All Star, Laser Purple, Strata Gray and total crimson you guys see 200 retail so I opened up the boxes let's get in the pair on the right first we got the general release of the LeBron 10 Dolphins or Sunset colorway got your combination of atomic teal and dark atomic teal on your upper go ahead and show you the sunset detail on the heel Thought that was a very nice detail. <clears throat> All white midsole. Your outsole. I wouldn't really call that total orange. It's kind of like a light orange. Got your LJ crown outlined in white. Got your white X. That same light orange inside the air bubble. The orange outlining the Nike swoosh is the total orange. <clears throat> That's your laces. You can see you've got that same light orange mixed in with the orange. Atomic teal lace tips or aglets as people like to correct me. That's your LJ crown logo. Total orange crown. You got the dark atomic teal inner lining. And you can see your total orange insole. On the back, got the LeBron signature in total orange. So there are some subtle differences from the Dolphins ID that I made. I'll compare those next video, but very happy with these. The differences definitely made me want to cop. Alright, I know a lot of people are looking at these. So let's go over the special newspaper edition paper. New shoe design linked to advanced alien technology, basketball court or crop circle, 
written in Beaverton, issue number 62. You see I'm in the future, Sunday, February 17th. It's only February 9th. Nike Space Program discovers new galaxy. <clears throat> you guys want to read all that? Composite. Unexplained spike. And you guys see the little ray gun cartoon. <clears throat> Alright. Same thing. Area 72, declassified. Houston, we have contact. Props to Nike on going all out this year on the paper as well. So here we go with the LeBron 10 extraterrestrial. See your midsole. Got that earthquake type design similar to the quakes. It's your 3M swoosh outlined in total crimson. You guys see the change on the upper. For those who haven't seen the pictures, this upper is entirely 3M. I'll show you guys a picture of that now. Nice. Also got your 3M swoosh, your crimson and gray laces. Moving up to the purple to fade, purple to orange fade on your tongue tab with your almost like cement print, or not, yeah, cement print um, LJ crown. On the back, you got a black LeBron signature inside like a little meteor. You guys see the galaxy theme on the inside of the inner lining. Got the LeBron lion on the tongue. Hopefully you guys can see the insole. There you go. Nike, area 72. And your heel detail, it's like a little black and gray design. Can't really uh, exactly tell what that is. But you got your translucent total crimson outsole. Your LJ crown outlined in that purple laser, or laser purple. Same total crimson on the inside of the airbag. So very pleased with these LeBrons. Looking forward to the KDs, the Kobe's, the Air Force Max, and the Barkley Posit. We're coming right for Harry Time! <laughs>